want to share with you a vehicle, an instrument, which I have developed some time ago for myself or for my family. It can assist us to reach our focus as we read the suggested vision of true discipleship as a Latter-day Saint. It helps when we from time to time ponder and seek identification with the following thoughts. Embrace this day with an enthusiastic welcome, no matter how it looks. The covenant with God to which you are true enables you to become enlightened by Him, and nothing is impossible for you. When you are physically sick, tired, or in despair, steer your thoughts away from yourself and direct them in gratitude and love towards God. In your life, there have to be challenges. They will either bring you closer to God and therefore make you stronger, or they can destroy you. But you make the decision of which road you take. First and foremost, you are a spirit child of God. If you neglect to feed your spirit, you will reap unhappiness. Don't permit anything to detract you from this awareness. You cannot communicate with God unless you have first sacrificed your self-oriented natural man and have brought yourself into the lower levels of meekness to become acceptable for the light of Christ. Put all frustrations, hurt feelings and grumblings into the perspective of your eternal hope light will flow into your soul. Pause to ponder the suffering Christ felt in the Garden of Gethsemane. In the awareness of the depths of gratitude for Him, you appreciate every opportunity to show your love for Him by diligently serving in His church. God knows that you are not perfect. As you suffer about your imperfections, he will give you comfort and suggestions where to improve. God knows better than you what you need. He always attempts to speak to you. Listen and follow the uncomfortable suggestions that he makes to us, and everything will fall into its place. Avoid any fear like your worst enemy, magnify your fear about the consequences of sin. When you cannot love someone, look, look into that person's eyes long enough to find the hidden rudiments of the child of God in him. Never judge anyone. When you accept this, you will be freed. In the case of your own children or subordinates, where you have the responsibility to judge. Help them to become their own judges. If someone hurts you so much that your feelings seem to choke you, forgive and you will be free again. Avoid at all costs any pessimistic, negative or criticizing thoughts. If you cannot cut them out, they will do you harm. On the road towards salvation, let questions arise, but never doubts. If something is wrong, God will give you clarity, but never doubts. Avoid rush and haste and uncontrolled words. Divine light develops in places of peace and quiet. Be aware of that as you enter places of worship. Be not so much concerned about what you do, but what you do, do with all your heart, mind, and strength. strength. In thoroughness is satisfaction. You want to be good and to do good? That is commendable. But the 
greatest achievement which can be reached in our lives is to be under the complete influence of the Holy Ghost. Then He will teach us what is really good and necessary to do. The pain of sacrifice lasts only one moment. It is the fear of the pain of sacrifice that makes you hesitate to do it. Be grateful for every opportunity to serve. It helps you more than those you serve. And finally, when you are compelled to give up something, or when things that are dear to you are withdrawn from you, know that this is your lesson to be learned right now. But know also that as you are learning this lesson, God wants to give you something better. Such we prepare all the days of our life, and as we grow, death loses its sting, hell loses its power, and we look forward to that day with anticipation of joy when He will come in His glory.